Siemens PACT system integrates powdered activated carbon adsorption and biological wastewater treatment into a single process. It is used around the world to produce high quality effluent that, in many cases, allows for beneficial reuse of these difficult to treat wastewater streams. The Zimpro Wet Air Regeneration System is based on the world leading Zimpro wet air oxidation process, used in over 200 applications worldwide. Pairing a Zimpro Wet Air Regeneration System with the PACT system simultaneously reactivates powdered activated carbon, significantly reducing the amount of fresh carbon needed in the PACT system and destroys non-biodegraded organics and biological sludge, eliminating the need for costly sludge dewatering and disposal. More than 90% of the powdered activated carbon is recovered by regeneration in the wet air regeneration system for reuse in the packed system. And 99% of the waste biomass solids are destroyed. Only 1% of the total waste biomass volume remains as an inert ash, which is managed by conventional solid waste disposal. The wet air regeneration system operates at low temperature and pressure, allowing the surface of the spent carbon to be regenerated but not damaged. The system regenerates the carbon as slurry so that expensive dewatering steps are not required. The Zimpro wet air regeneration system significantly reduces the volume of waste sludge for disposal, reducing operators' solid waste management liability and landfill disposal costs. Here's how the process works. Wasted biomass and carbon are transferred from the sludge thickener to the wet air regeneration high pressure pump. High pressure air is injected to provide oxygen for complete destruction of biomass solids and oxidation of organic compounds adsorbed into the powdered carbon. This mixture is then routed to the heat exchanger. The mixture is preheated at the heat exchanger using heat transfer from the hot regenerated carbon slurry. The mixture of preheated carbon, biomass and air is then introduced into the bottom of the reactor. During the oxidation process, heat generated to drive the process and the non-biodegraded organics adsorbed onto the spent carbon are oxidized. The biomass solids are completely destroyed. The regenerated carbon liquor now contains non-adsorbable and highly biodegradable short-chain organic acids and ammonia released during oxidation of the biomass and readily treatable as the regenerated carbon is returned to the packed system. After the oxidation reactions are complete, the mixture exits the top of the reactor. The hot regenerated carbon mixture passes through the heat exchanger, where the energy is used to preheat the incoming spent carbon and biomass mixture. The regenerated carbon passes through a pressure reducing valve and is routed to the regenerated carbon storage tank. Once the regenerated carbon mixture arrives at the storage tank, the oxygen depleted air partitions from the liquid phase. The outgoing gas is water scrubbed and injected into the packed system, eliminating any requirements for air emission permitting. The slurry containing the regenerated carbon is transferred back to the packed system. Periodically, a portion of the heavy ash that builds up in the reactor is removed via a blowdown sequence, collected and dewatered. This inert ash blowdown is the only source of solids for disposal, and the dewatered ash is typically less than 1% of the volume of dewatered biological sludge a significant cost savings for plant operators using landfilling or other methods of solid waste disposal. The Zimpro Wet Air Regeneration System by Siemens 
significantly reduces activated carbon consumption and sludge disposal costs, and can be self-sustaining, requiring no auxiliary fuel. Systems can be field-erected, or shop fabricated and skid mounted. Contact us today for more information.